Welcome back to Tahoe Tonight. District 5 Supervisor, the topic of discussion here. One of the candidates sitting on my right, Jerry Grego, thank you for coming in and, and sort of getting it out there. When you, when you were sitting down here, we were getting you mic'd up. You said it was really surprising at how much some people, how, how little they know about county government. And it is tough because of all the agencies we have. Uh, so give them the overview of what a supervisor sort of does real quick. Well, it's absolutely true. I've been surprised at how little people know about what's happening in the county. I'm sure that has something to do with how much we have to deal with here, mm -hmm. and you can only do so much. But in the county, the supervisor works, of course, on the budget and, and the overview of the county as far as um, staffing and what they do, what their priorities are, um, what the plan should be for the county. So top level stuff and then it sort of disseminates down. Speaking of priorities, what would some of your priorities be if you were elected District 5 Supervisor? Well, I would want to reduce some of the excessive um, spending that I see in certain areas. Um, I would also like to reduce some regulations. I feel okay. that we have way too many to actually get things accomplished. You know, America was built on people being able to go out and build something from scratch mm -hmm. and that opportunity almost seems to be ins insurmountable mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. with the way things are right now. So you're saying you could reduce regulation while still keeping the lake just as clear as it is today with development and all? Is well, that sort certainly. of a, what you're I thinking mean, there? Yeah. What, what difference does the color of somebody's house have to do with the qual lake quality? Right. Well, visual quality. And the quality of life, maybe? Right, yeah. but visual quality, yes, but it's not to the extreme that it needs to be. Okay, okay, so top level issues. Um, and then another priority here is uh, safety and roads. Talk about the Caltrans and county scenario you were explaining to me during the break. Absolutely. Uh, right now, the county hires Caltrans to do their road work. And I don't think that's a good option. I, I think what we want to do, we have so many people who are unemployed, we should be hiring our own people to do that work and not be hiring people from outside the county to do it. Mm -hmm. That way, their money stays in the county, mm -hmm. they spend in the county, and our tax base goes up because we have more people living mm -hmm. and spending money here. Okay, so there's a few of your top priorities that you would sort of focus on in office. Um, I, I guess a lot of the questions, you, you did say there are so many agencies. How would you get all those people together to make a, a united decision on something like that? How, what, what would be your process in that? You start individually first. You have to meet with each individual group and find your common ground. Okay. You can find common ground with just about anybody for, and so what you find do is find your common ground and then you find a common goal. Once, once you find that common goal, you go out among the other agencies and people and say, how do we accomplish this? Not, not what are the barriers, but how do we accomplish it? Okay and you work together for the common I, good. I would love to see them all get together in one room and finally make a decision together. Um, for someone wondering why they should vote for you and not the other person, what's your website? My website is Jerry for Supervisor. And um, what people will find out about me or people who know me know that I'm a bridge builder. There you go. That's how you're going to get the agencies together right there. So uh, go to Jerry's website for more information. We'll be back with more Tahoe tonight right after this.